Hey folks, Ryan from My Mobile Rescue here. Wanted to uh, do a video, following up, uh, you know, actually doing a video on something that, uh, that we did a blog post on recently um, that uh, that was that was put on the eTech Parts eTech Parts blog, and then you know we did a follow up on our blog on iMobileRescue.com showing how to do this. Uh, and basically, what we're going to do is uh, address the the issue of bent aluminum uh, on an iPad repair and how to you know the best way that we found to uh, to fix the situation and make it so that. It's as acceptably smooth and uh, you know uh, cosmetically okay as 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 is possible considering the nature of, of a bend like this. So we're looking at an iPad too that uh, you know has a dent in the aluminum. Most of the time when you drop them and the screen cracks, this is what happens. This dent here, and so uh, without bending that back out and uh, getting the bezel on correctly, the bezel and the digitizer itself will not fit on correctly and that's going to cause you know other problems the potential for other cracks moving forward with minimal pressure and uh, you know and then headaches as a result so we're going to go through uh, our protocol on on one of the ways that we use to fix this uh, that I think would be beneficial for everybody else DIYing and even other repair shops and repair companies hopefully uh, the first thing is tools uh, to do this the first thing that uh, that we have as a tool is, is simply pliers but these pliers if you notice are super thin and pretty sharp on the edges of them unlike for example these pliers which are still sharp and still could do the job uh, but it's better in, in, in a case like this where you have something like this where you could really get in there and you really have the, the ability to grab this to grab the edge here without damaging any of the back part without you know scratching up the rest of the aluminum uh, etc okay so you got pliers as a really important thing these very pretty sharp ones and then even uh, to a lesser extent in the sharp arena uh, and then a little bit longer uh, for other situations. And maybe these may even be best here. We'll actually, we're actually going to test that and see what's going on. But good pliers, good precision pliers. These are uh, made by Crescent. Pretty cool. Um, and then, then you're going to need a rotary tool. Okay, this is made by Dremel. It's a simple rotary tool, which basically, if you turn it on, spins. Okay, so this spun. And this is a sanding extension. It's an extension that's like have sandpaper on it, and it's a sanding extension. So you can use this to grind surfaces down to smoothness uh, and, and, and situations like this. And we found that this worked particularly well with the soft aluminum uh, on the iPad 2, 3, and 4, as well as on the iPad mini. Uh, and then the last tool, right? Check it out. You're going to be like, what? That's a tool? Glasses. Because here's the thing. When you start grinding aluminum and metal flies up, you're going to want you know, some good glasses. Those are the wall glasses. Uh, they're pretty strong. It's good eye pro for uh, for glass and metal flying at your at your face that you don't want to uh, hit your face. You want to protect with these. Okay. So uh, the first thing is in um, in order for how this works. Let's just look at it and see what we need to do. This dead isn't so bad. You can see, right? It's not so bad. So we could probably get away with using. No. We're probably going to have to use the small ones. And and what you want to do is tread lightly. You want to tread lightly. You want to go in here and just sort of test it out. Take the, the pliers very lightly. See where you're at. See what it's going to require. Right. Just bending it back a little here. Okay, so we were able to get a little bit of movement right on that part right there. Okay, on that part there. So we got some movement. Now let's continue and tread lightly on this part here. Get some more movement. Right. So so far, so good. Let's just uh, we're going to switch the pliers here because I think that grabbing it with these pliers uh, may not be the best uh, may not be the best way to do it. Based on this, let me, get, let me get one more shot at grabbing it this way and see if I could bend that out. I don't want to take it too far because we don't want to bend or break you know, that edge there. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we're going to take the different pliers, a little bit thicker, so we can actually get a better grasp on this. So we can bend in that direction. There we go. So now we have a better grasp, and we can actually bend that out. So I think that, that is safe to say that that's good. Uh, it's enough for the bezel to fit on effectively, and we didn't scratch the back up. Uh, and then now all we have to do now is sand that down to make it as smooth as possible on the edges. So what we're going to do is bring the rotary tool, but first now in looking at it. I think we can just do a little bit more cosmetic stuff. So we're going to take a thinner one, the thinner pliers here, grab the edge. See if there's just slightly, slightly more that we can bend out. Again, tread lightly is the phrase to keep in mind here. This is fragile and you don't want to 
do any further damage to the aluminum uh, if you don't have to. Okay, so that's a pretty good position that we got the aluminum in. That's just a basic strategy to bend the aluminum uh, out to fit the screen back on. And uh, and it's looking like the, the bezel will fit on there, and it's now it's, it's, it's bent out. That, that bend is out. So what we want to do is just see if we can edge that out, smooth it out, uh, you know, with, with the rotary tool and the sanding device, and, uh, you know, see where we're at from there. All right, so there's two settings on this one, and there's two settings on most of them. Uh, low could work. We use high because it's, it's, it's easier, and we've gotten, uh, you know, uh, I guess, acclimated to the exact pressure that you need to use and sort of the exact particular hand movements that you need to use, a sort of technique. Uh, which I think a lot of iOS device repair people are familiar with. The fact that these devices need like a very particular hand technique. All all of these devices uh, for it to work effectively. All right, so we're just going to turn this thing on, and we're going to slightly sand this down, and use the basically the look of it. We'll use what's happening in the moment as a dynamic feedback mechanism for where to stop and how to keep going. As you see, I'm being very careful. Uh, I'm trying to just edge out the corner, and then we'll edge out the top part there. Okay, phone is ringing. Had to stop. But we're back. Same place, okay? So now, since we got the edge pretty much grinded out, and it's as smooth as it's going to get, it's it's pretty smooth here. We just want to we just want to edge out the top and see if we can smooth out that top just for cosmetic purposes to make it look better. Probably put it on low to do this. Put it on low. And there we go. And that's that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. I mean, you can take the rotary tool and put it on a low setting uh, and then attempt to 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 prettify it a little bit more and to make it a little more smooth. But just keep in mind when you do that, the more that you uh, uh, clearly the more that you put the sanding tool on the edge of the aluminum, the more that you're going to be grinding it down. So you're going to be taking uh, you know parts of it off. So just be careful there. Uh, at this point, if we were to test, let's say, a bezel, which we have. <clears throat> this is uh, an iPad 3 slash iPad 4 bezel, but it's uh, effectively the same thing for these purposes. Then we could put it there very cleanly and see that the bezel fits on the way that it's supposed to fit. And then in that case, we know that the screen's going to fit on the way that the screen's supposed to fit, and then you won't have any problems. So thanks a lot for watching. If that made sense, if you loved it, please tweet it and share it with everybody that you know. If you ever need us to do this for you, please let us know. Uh, iMobile Rescue these days is doing a lot of business and educational uh, iPad repair, um, and then also iPhone repair for organizations. So if you know anybody that, that could benefit from that service, l let them know, spread the word. Um, and if you have something to say, please comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck and happy sanding.